All right, hello and welcome back to the Smiling Rainbow Unicorn of Doom. I'm Thomas. I'm Joe. I'm Marquez. All right, so. It's not my icon. Talk louder. Uh, okay, fine. I just, I just. Okay, cool. No, no, sorry. I, I, it was turned out a little bit. But okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is A-OK. Everything is awesome. Everything is it's awesome. cool when you're part of a team. We're not a team. <laughs> I'm carrying the show on my shoulders. <laughs> You, don't you have simply gather shoulders. the questions and I answer them, Thomas. Know your place. <laughs> What's your? Where are the eggs kept, Joel? Where are the eggs kept? No, don't. That was a question I got. <laughs> uh, in our fridge, we have like sixty of them at all times. Yeah, we bought the the little box set of eggs. That's that's not a joke. We have sixty eggs in our fridge. <laughs> help us! This is a cry for help, actually. Nope. We don't need help. You don't need help. Nope. I got you know, Lander University offers free counseling services for every student. <laughs> <laughs> These kids stop eating eggs. <laughs> They're so good. How do you? What's your favorite way to prepare an egg? Um, recently hatched. I've been hatched. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just wait. <laughs> uh, scramble three of them, put them on top of some toast with some avocados. It's quite nice. All right, Marquez. Did you say hatched? You you looked. Like, yeah, we, I had to just ask you a stupid question. You're like, hatched? What do you mean? No, I'll, I'll, I'm referencing <laughs> a meme porn. that came up recently. Okay, it's not going to be. But yeah, I was I referencing Know your meme. <laughs> I was know your meme culture, Thomas. <laughs> you literally, ooh, if you but, gatekeep memes, I'm dropkicking you. Like, there's no, there's, there's no there's no other way. But uh, no, scramble. I was just like, my egg scramble. They're, they're good scramble. Well, I guess they're giving me too much iron, bro. What's so bad about having so much iron? You die. <laughs> you become Iron Man. You get like there's that like, gout and like the <laughs> yeah. Well, there's like a I had to do like a diet analysis program for my nutrition class, and it said that I have like 500 percent of the amount of iron I'm supposed to have. And I'm like, oh, was iron bad? And looked up, and it's like iron excessive iron can lead to like heart failure, diabetes. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's it's fine. More <laughs> everything's eggs. okay. I will become stronger. Everything is cool when you're dying. I will not be allowed to walk through a metal detector. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, have you been eating too many eggs lately? <laughs> you're, you're got darn right I have. You got <laughs> All right. right. So, welcome back to the Smiling Room Media Corner of Doom. <laughs> I was, <laughs> we, we were doing a Q&A. We did a Q&A last week, and we're just finishing up most of the questions. So we're trying to do it rapid fire. I figured you weren't even going to introduce it. I figured you were, you were just going to go. No, but I, I wasn't expecting you to actually answer the question. So oh, I just, well. All right. But we're back. We missed you. Not you, Joe. Bring eggs. No. Oh. Bring eggs? Bring All eggs right. to the studio for a shot. <laughs> Retweet for free iPod. <laughs> they better be scrambled. They better be hatched, at least. <laughs> Just bring a bucket full of chickens. I'm like, I guess you wanted those. <laughs> All right. Let's, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm just going down the list now. I'm not doing it in particular order. What's the hardest major? Trick question. It's art. Well, that's not true. I can. Anyone can draw. <laughs> I really don't know who asked that question, honestly. I don't right, either. No. Not, I will say. It almost sounds like a... A green-haired person, you oh. know, a little gremlin. The Grinch? The gr- yes, it's the Grinch. Oh, Joe's girlfriend. Okay, cool. Um, uh, <laughs> she's a Christmas tree now. Oh, I, I apologize. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <gasps> I can play the Weezer Christmas no! album. <laughs> I'm going to be receiving an angry Snapchat in 20 seconds. Okay, so um, I will say I want to apologize to all art majors. I used to just I used to come in with this like arrogant idea that like, man, why are all art ca- majors complaining so much? What like literally what are they doing? Then I asked, then I became friends with, not just Kelsey, but I became friends with a few. Oh, my God. <laughs> per class, you have to have, like, four to six hours a week. So if you have, like, three art classes, you have to have, like, 20 hours a week in yes. the studio. Mm. That's a job. Like <laughs> No, yeah. Um, Morgan, my friend who goes to Clemson, he has... He's doing. It's not like art. Art. It's like. Well, actually, it is not art. the way he does it. Well, because he's doing. He's doing more like HUD design, like virtual design type stuff. But he has. Mm-hmm. To, he has to do a regular art thing for it. When I went over to Clemson uh, before over Labor Day, he had these huge posters and these giant still life drawings, and it was crazy that like he was just busy the whole time with trying to work on this in incredible <laughs> yeah. detail. No, it's it's amazing what they do. Um, what's your favorite type of turtle? Well, I guess the question is, what's your favorite turtle? So I guess if hatched. you have a particular... <laughs> 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 they, do, they do hatch. They come from eggs. Yeah. 
Um, I will say Master Ugwe. Master Ugwe. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a very good one. What kind of turtle is he, though? Is he, like, uh... <laughs> the hatched <laughs> yeah, variety? I, hatched I, I will it. actually... Well, I guess he's a tortoise. He's a tortoise, so there is a bit of a distinction what? there. I, I forget the distinction, but... Ugwe. Well, one can Master swim, Ugwe? and one, if you throw it in the water, does not swim. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like a Master Ugwe wise quote. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to turn <laughs> that into a... Yeah, he's an elderly card. tortoise, is what it says. Okay. Uh, All right. Snap, snapping turtles. Snapping turtle. Snapping turtles are pretty cool. They are cool. Except when they try to bite your fingers off. That, that'll, that's not... Well, then they're no longer cool. I mean, I used to work at a nursing home. The, the tenants there just do that anyway. So. <laughs> Snapping people. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey there, how Beth. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ethel. <laughs> Okay, well, she wasn't angry about it. She's at Jim Goobels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much money to stop your show? This is a genuine question to me. Like, I enjoy doing this. This is one of the things I look forward to every week. Um, so, like, how much money would it take for me to stop the show? Five dollars and a kiss on the cheek. I think five dollars and a kiss on the cheek. It depends on who's kissing me on the cheek, though. Take it or I don't care. <laughs> you, just, you just want to kiss on the I cheek. Just want to kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I need this. Call me a good boy. I'll say. I'll Marquez say. Is prohibited from answering further <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, hundred fifty bucks. So I guess I'll have a backup though. So. so so for for us, I suppose, is it for us to stop coming on the show or for us to stop you from doing the show? Because if someone paid me like sixty bucks. I would stop coming on the show. Sure. But if they would have to pay me more to get you to stop doing it because that's that's worse, you know? Yeah. I don't know how much I'd have to It just says how much money to stop doing your show. So individually us coming here. Yeah, no. I I would take I would take second. I'm cheap, so five. Five dollars and a kiss on the <laughs> and cheek and they, the they call you a good boy? Yes. Okay. I have my I'll do that for you for free, Marcos. Yes. <laughs> that's how you get him off the show. <laughs> Here's your uh, here's your severance pay. Yeah, Marquez, you're a good boy. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So this one's interesting. Do you guys? You guys? We all use Spotify. Yes. No. Y- yes, you do. No, 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 no I don't. Actually, no, he doesn't. He's uh, YouTube no. Yeah, he's YouTube Music. You have Spotify though. No, I no, don't. no, he doesn't. Really? No, I'm one of the people in the world that doesn't use Spotify. I could have sworn you you were using Spotify <laughs> whenever you were driving in the car. Mm-mm. No. Huh, okay. Well, well I guess it has a shuffle question. feature, right? Yes. And you have like a, play, a big playlist or whatever, a big or liked, liked whatever? Absolutely, yes. So this person asks us to go on our playlist, our main playlist, mm-hmm. click shuffle, and what's the first song that comes up? There is a 40% chance it's going to be a SpongeBob song. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, should I tell oh, that story man. the other day? Yes, you should. So, uh, also, uh, mine makes me sad. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, a piece of knowledge about me is that I have an encyclopedic knowledge of most SpongeBob-based things. Um, and I was sitting there doing nutrition homework. And one of the questions said something about, like, digestion or something like that. And one of the answers was a really weird word, like, borborygmus or whatever. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's a SpongeBob song. And Marquez was like, no, it's not. And I look at him and go, you want to test me? And then I go and look up Borborygmus Spongebob, and it's a, it's a background song from one of the recent episodes in, like, season 12. I'm like, do not ever doubt my Spongebob knowledge again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shuffle. I don't... So, uh, Mine is, um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I, got, I don't want to set the world on fire by Ink Spots. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I don't want to set the world on fire. My song is Crushed by uh, Duckworth. Okay, cool. Duckworth being... It's Kendrick Lamar, isn't it? No, 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 no. That's that's the artist. Is it, is it, his name is Duckworth. Oh, I thought Ken, okay. Yeah, he has a song name called Duckworth. Well, because that's because his real name. Yeah. So I was just thought that okay, cool. It's like calling CeeLo Green Darius, whatever his name is. Yeah. What's CeeLo Green's real name? Um. I can oh look God, it up real quick. I, no, don't I look can it promise up. you, it's not worth I, it. I know. I listen to him all the time. It's, I'm looking it up. Uh, no, do not. You can't stop me. I, well, I'm going to go to my YouTube. Mine is Would You Go With Me by Josh, Josh Turner, and that makes me sad. Why? Is there Because a... it's a super romantic, happy song, and I'm neither of those right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not super. Did I tell all. you guys what happened? Um, I told you guys, but I didn't tell the, the, the little doomers out there what happened last week. <laughs> oh, you're going to – I have an announcement later Narles on. Narles Barkley. Gonna, Narles Barkley. Narles Barkley. 
Um, and you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna like this. Okay. But I was so I was in class. I'm not gonna say any names. I'm not gonna do anything like that. But I was in class, and is this really worth telling? I think it is. So um, I was sitting there in class, and there's this girl in that class, and I could tell sort of very clearly she was like flirting with me, like hardcore flirting with me. Yes. So we're walking. Um, I'm going to my next class, and this just shows how awkward I am. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't like this person like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and we're walking to class, the next class, and all of a sudden she turns to me and she says, "So are you going to walk me to my? So are you going to walk me to my next class?" And my my me being me and awkward, I just like panic, <laughs> and I was like, "My class is right here. Uh, have a good day." <laughs> just walked away. <laughs> I need to pursue my academic prowess. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> I do not have time. I don't have time for women. Um, uh, for people of the opposite gender. Uh, I think your legs are still working. Uh, <laughs> walk you yourself. There yourself. Listen, Lander <laughs> University is a safe campus. Uh, you don't need me to walk you there. Uh, it's not even nighttime yet. So that's why I'm going to die alone, I think. <laughs> In conclusion. But would you go with me as a romantic, like, happy little nice song for people who are happy. Um, so... <laughs> I sh- that's a joke. I'm, I'm very happy. Just um. <laughs> Thomas, do you need a hug? All right, not, not from you. All right, <laughs> like, that that makes me really angry. I decided just for funsies to hit the next button on. I don't want to set the world on fire, and I got a, a Delta Rune song. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The <laughs> only <laughs> one I have in my entire. Playlist. Ooh, interesting. Mine is my next one is called Anime Intro by um Public Theater. Oh. It's just like a rock song. I don't know why it's called anime intro. It's, it's, it, no, it, because it begins with that like sound clip. You know the songs that begin with like a sound clip and they'll be playing music over it. Yeah, and it's like it's the ones like "Don't mess with me. I have the power of God and anime on my side." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mine is "Carbonated Water" by Ski Mask, the Slump God. I see. <laughs> I, I want to point out, by the way, if this seems a little different, I'm exhausted today. I was I was no, up till not. about two o'clock last night. And I had to wake up around six. So. I'm sorry. Um. So if I seem a little off, it's not because I'm sad. I'm I'm just tired. <laughs> Bro, you can just come over and have a sleepover, man. You're always welcome. To have you a sleepover. really want me to have a sleepover? Well, with you. Yeah, are you getting air mattress? Are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> it's the boys. Well, we, <laughs> well, we had different. a sleepover last year. Just don't tell them about that. We shook hands. And <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Made hot chocolate. Yeah, we did made we? hot chocolate. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, because I got the I got the powder and everything. Yeah, we were playing Bosch. Nice. I was playing Bosch shop. Yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah. No, we're gonna have to get an air mattress because <laughs> I think we're gonna have several people come over. So yes, and you're okay. obligated to come over as well. And, and we'll share the air mattress with the several people that you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. So why are you looking at me like that? Because <laughs> you're the host of the show, Thomas. All right. <laughs> it's your time to speak. So, do you go to haunted houses and do you like them? This is rapid. Let's do rapid fire now. Okay. So. Yes. Uh. No. Never been to one. No, have not been. Cannot say if I like them because I haven't been. I do, and I love them, but I'd only go once or twice a year. They get they you start to pick up on like they're very all similar to each other. Yeah, and it's more fun if someone else is really scared and you're the one that's not scared. Like as me, the only I would never go by myself. There's no point. I would go with someone who's like a lot more scared than I am, like my sister or someone like that. I yeah. like I like how you said these are rapid fire. Then you proceed to give a very detailed analysis as to why. Don't you... draw it out. Next question. <laughs> go. What is something that is not an Olympic sport but should be? Dealing with Marquez. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I thought dealing with Bianca would be an Olympic sport. My, my she first... doesn't hurt me. Actually, yes, she does hurt me very much. <laughs> we were sitting. Okay, so we were sitting there. Just a st- short story, and she'll. She'll back me up on this because she's super proud of this. Basically, I just – it was bad timing. I had a bad interaction with someone that I'm, like, talking to. Mm-hmm. And then I immediately go and I see her in the hallway. I'm like, hey. And then I, I was talking to Joel and, and Bianca. Shout out to them. <laughs> and I said something. You know what? I don't get. And I just hear this little voice um, behind me. She didn't know that this had happened, like, a f- an hour before. She said, dates. <laughs> 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 so thank you for that. Um uh, my answer is waking up in the morning. <laughs> Do my answer is finding the will to go on. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right, camper. <laughs> this challenge is to find a reason to keep going. <laughs> Dear Lord, help us all. All right. Do you got one, Marcus? Uh, I don't drink. I don't, I don't know. Drinking something. Water. <laughs> juice. <laughs> <Drinking> water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and go. 
<laughs> yeah, get wow, hydrated. He's, he's real good at that. <laughs> Look yeah. at him go. I will, I will say what something that should be is like you sure have to do like <laughs> you have to do <laughs> you have to do like jumping jacks or something in flip flops and try not to make a noise. <laughs> Wet flip flops, <laughs> like you're you're in like a like a like a puddle of water. Oh yeah, so so it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's your favorite kind of sock? Like ankle socks, low rise, no show, knee highs. Well, I don't wear socks most of the time because I wear shoes that don't require them, and then whenever I wear shoes that require socks, I just wear regular like ankle high type things. So yeah, I don't have. I, I'll I mean, say no show. I, I want to be the kind of... Actually, I don't want to be that kind of person. I like wearing long socks with designs on them, but I also really don't like wearing those socks. Like, they don't feel comfortable, so... Yeah, I, I used to al- almost exclusively wear long socks. And then I started wearing, like, the ankle high and, lo- like, no show socks. And then I started wearing long socks again because, you know, whenever I'm wearing a suit or wearing something that I have to, like, dress up for, I'm like, my leg hair is far too long. It literally just, like, feels like it's pulling in. No, yeah, it, it hurts. It's uncomfortable. I like uh, no shows, but on occasions I will I will wear longer socks if, if my my pants are kind of high waters. Yeah. So my ankles don't show. Oh yeah. But you got to keep that. You got to be modest. You got to keep those ankles. Yeah, I got to keep the ankles hidden. My ashy ankles. <laughs> um, what's your favorite TV show? Well, SpongeBob. Oh, of course. Uh, I don't really watch TV. This is a hard question. <laughs> I, well, really I, I know. I don't really watch TV either. The the only time I watched TV was when I was the age where I watched SpongeBob, Avatar, Invader Zim. Right. I'll say currently the only show I'm watching, if it were to come out, like if it, if the, the if we weren't in between seasons, would be The Mandalorian. That's pretty much the only thing I watch. Hmm. Rapid Fire, Marquez. Ben Ten, let's go. Just Ben Ten. Ben Ten, really? Yeah. You just do you still watch that? No, like, I haven't watched it in years, but I, I remember thoroughly enjoying that. Like show. Good Era Ben Ten. Good Era Ben okay. Ten. Yeah, the most recent one. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 okay. I'm Pekin Star. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I want to use that as a Hurt new word for, for being angry. I'm Pekin. <laughs> I'm, I'm so peeking right now, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. My timbers are so shivered right now. You have no idea. Perhaps you're <laughs> my bones are so rattled. <laughs> My core is so shaking right now, dude. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a music break, and we'll be, we will be back in a few minutes. This is Blink-182. She's out of her mind. We'll see you in a second. She's in- Welcome back to the Smiling Grammy Unicorn of Doom. It's spooky season, everybody. No, it's not. Shut up. Well, they did do the mash. <laughs> we, uh, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were mashing some monsters out here. Like we, <laughs> we were straight <laughs> crumping on some we're monsters. <laughs> also known as grave robbing. Yeah. <laughs> Got a nice diamond wing right now. Not marriage. She's got one. So I'll, I'll we were doing a Q and A before Marquez <laughs> starts talking. You part with your valuables. <laughs> <laughs> so this one I've been excited for. He and then Marquez, the actually Marquez, go ahead. You said you got a question yeah, for us. So I just wanted to ask, like, do y'all have a favorite flower? Chrysanthemums. I have no Is idea. Is it just because you like the name, or? Yep. Well, they're also nice. They're it's it's it's. <sighs> It's not, like, crazy high. Also, they're mums, which is cute. Uh, I think they're usually, like, purpley, which is nice, and they're also an autumn flower, which is, you know, my favorite season, so. All right. Mums. Thomas? Final answer. Mine's the evening primrose. Four so four. an evening primrose. Um, an evening primrose is a yellow flower that um, is one of those flowers that is like looks like this. It's, like, closed. <laughs> yeah. It looks like this little pod, and then at nighttime during the summer, it'll, open, it'll slowly open up. Ooh. So when I was younger... Whenever I would go, to, like, stay over at my grandparents' house um, during the summer and in the early fall, we would go outside and literally for hours watch them slowly open up. <laughs> and it was the coolest thing. <laughs> we would do stuff in between. We'd, like, catch fireflies and stuff like that. But <laughs> Yeah, it's just a very nice yeah. childhood nostalgia. Yeah, so my next tattoo is probably going to incorporate that somehow, but we'll see. Nice. Nice. Why do you ask that? Oh, wait, well, what's yours? I, uh, I really like a lotus. Lotuses are really nice. Yeah. It's very simple. Just I like lotuses. All right. And I ask because I'm curious. Sure. Interesting. Now, remember we were talking to John a few years ago, uh, and I said something like, yeah, my favorite flower. And he was like, you have a favorite flower? <laughs> I was like, 
And then we basically just got this big thing like men shouldn't have it. And I was like, what? what? Come on. Come on. What's that about flowers? Come flowers on are now. cool. Flowers are awesome. Flower power. Fla- <laughs> <laughs> you look, you have a per- perplexed look on your face, Mr. Joe. No, I was just voiding. <laughs> ah. I've been excited for this question. <laughs> You're excited for, to to delve into the void. I've been excited for Joe to be quiet. Um, <laughs> finally. So, we're gonna start with Marquez. Oh. So give yourself a superpower. All right. Like whatever superpower you want, and the person to your left. So, Marquez, Joe is yes. gonna give it. Yeah. Give them their weakness. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, these are fun. So we'll start with Mark. Well, I, we'll I know. Start with Joe. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, you've probably seen the trend with this, but I won't. I won't use it for here. Just, just. Uh, no, I haven't. So. <laughs> okay. Well, so the 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 funniest thing that I've seen is so someone will be like, "My superpower is I have the ability to fly." Downside is, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that does not do that. It's one. a bit stupid, but it's funny. So if I had a superpower and then you get to. To mess it up. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. We can be creative. Let's not do like I would fly. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think of something, something more interesting. Um, ooh, yeah. Wind tunnel. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of something that would be useful to my to my. You trying to stump me? I would like to be able to cast like. An image into people's brains. Like, I want to be able to, like, Do you want to airdrop something? your thoughts into people's sort brains? Sort of, yeah. Like, I would like to be able to tell a story and make people envision it literally. Like, it's like, like a hallucination. Okay. So then I can tell stories in a very literal and interesting way that has, like, a, a personal impact. So how, how would you corrupt this? Well, also, if you want to time, take time to think, we can all just say powers and we can all think of ways to Yeah, let's it, do so. powers first. Okay. So my power would be I would have the ability to control and talk to animals. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Uh, now mine's, mine's gonna seem kind of lame because I, for like the longest time, I thought the the ability to like I guess harness shadows was kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. Well, like, what would you do with it? Like, like you can I, just move them around, or you can like do no, something no, like it. I can like you ever seen the the Cloak and Dagger show? No. No, no, but I know I know what you're talking. Like, about. I could like step into a shadow and like kind of like teleport and do stuff like that. Yeah, he would have um, yeah, so. Can we actually switch? Because I have the perfect counter for Marquez. <laughs> sure. Well, hey, we can just throw, we throw can just throw a counter for that. Okay. Yeah. Well, your your weak. Let's all do it for each other then, yeah. since there are a few of us. Marquez, your weakness is that shadows are mustard colored. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so they're just absurdly loud. <laughs> yeah. So like, it doesn't matter. You just like you you when you go into the shadows, you're just just or- yellow like aura. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. I feel like there's some good corruptions for for shadow powers. Um... Uh, stepping into shadows causes you to teleport involuntarily just to any other place where there's a shadow which can also include the vast majority of the inside of the earth and also the bottom of the ocean Jesus Christ you're gonna kill me you just you, just, it, you pass under a tree and then you teleport to the Marianas <laughs> Trench and die <laughs> yeah I'm just thinking so Joe the, ter- the purpose of your power is it you want to do this thing anonymously in some cases I suppose I could yeah okay so your your weakness is that whenever you're doing this, you're just like, "Hey guys, look at what I'm doing, guys!" <laughs> the, the method of transmission is I have to just scream it out really loud. You'll put it in everyone's brains. <laughs> let me let me think. Uh, before it actually shows what you desire to show them, you will they will always get like a random blip of like some thought of yours. Prior to that, near like, oh, so they're cool. just like tuning into my stream, and yeah. I don't get to like decide what they get. They just like, no, tune no. in. Like, man, that girl is really fat. All right, so the story tonight. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how it me. <laughs> the so, story tonight, folks. So it's like a red <laughs> how you first, think. then it actually streamlines into what you want to show them. That's kind of funny, actually. Um, my my correction for yours is that it's just very realistic. So you just hear animals' thoughts. So you go and look at a squirrel, and it's like food, food, <laughs> mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are my and thoughts, it's nothing, too. It's nothing helpful at all. <laughs> those are my thoughts, too. And you though. speak to it, and it just starts screaming and runs away. <laughs> hey, little... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? What is this? Uh, you don't actually get to understand what they're saying at all. Oh, you get to talk to them, but not understand <laughs> <Yeah>. them? <laughs> 
I like that, actually. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So um, now is, is an important announcement for tonight. For tonight. Now is an important announcement. Everybody cuddle up close. I want you to grab your partner. I want you to... Come on. Girl. All, All right. right. So I want you to cuddle up close to your partner, next to a fire if you can. Um, <laughs> Where's my lighter? <laughs> yeah, you both looked. <laughs> and get comfortable. Spooky season's coming in. The, that cool fall breeze. The rustling of the, 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 the leaves. Yeah. The, what, were you trying to make the rustling noise? Yeah. Paper doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, an important announcement is that today is um, actually going to be my last show. <gasps> so, no, <laughs> Thomas, I no. just tell you guys right now. No, uh, I have an important so, announcement. Uh, you're fired. Yeah. So today's Marquez's last show. Um, <laughs> you really, you really have been saying a lot of unfunny stuff, Marquez, and you know it's just well, the funny ratings are low. The funny ratings are low only for you, though. Well, listen, do you have any other like? Do you have any funnier black friends that we? <laughs> <laughs> for inclusion purposes, if we replace you with a white guy, we look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So the important announcement, guys, is that. Um, I'm starting a new show. Um, so I'm starting a show with my friends um, Joel and Bianca. It is going to be every Monday at 8 o'clock. Oh, and wow. it is called Soy Milk. So- <laughs> Soy Milk? I'm not joking. <laughs> Soy Milk with Joel, Bianca, and Thomas. At 8 so in the morning? 8 at night. 8 at night. It's, gonna, it's not going to be every week. It's going to be every few weeks. Just this thing that we decided to do. Um, we got in here once. The studio, it was like later at night. The studio was empty. So we just started talking. And then we realized like... It could be fun, so we signed the sheets. We're good to go. Every few Mondays, starting this Monday at eight o'clock, soy milk. Tune in. What do you, what do you do? Just talk. Talk about milk. But Joel oh. does like milk. Yeah. And you also like milk. I do but, like Bian- milk. but Bianca does not. Bianca likes soy sauce, though. That's what? So no. So you have soy sauce and whole milk, and that's what you. Do. Yeah, we just drink it the whole time. We just mix it. Straight milks. Joel and I were talking last night about this um this special drink that we should make. So you 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 under, you guys know what pilk is? Pilk no. Well, you get Pepsi and milk, and you, so we were we were thinking that next time, like whenever I'm 21, we'll go to a bar with with, with Joel and we'll get what's called the um we made this up the um avalanche in the Bahamas. So you just get a lemon lime uh, white claw mm-hmm. and a milk. <laughs> And you just, <laughs> you just drink it. You just shot down them. Yeah. Well, you enjoy it. You sip it. You sniff it. You <laughs> sip, sniff, well, spit. I don't know. Spit into like, a Like a wine tasting? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing for wine tasting? People just actually don't swallow it? The, and certain people don't, yeah. I can't imagine liking anything enough to or, – or not even liking. Just yeah. having that much of an opinion about to do that, you know? Like, I'll go to places and, like, hey, we're doing, like, a beer – like, there's things called beer church where you'll go every few weeks and, you know, you'll just get a, sh- a glass of, like, what – different beers from around the world or different types of beers. That sounds fun. Yeah. I'm not much of a drinker, but um, something like that, like, trying new stuff, but not, like, try it, critique it, and not swallow it. <laughs> just swish it around your mouth to get the, get the nice aroma feel for it. And just, yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. But I really like it. Had a very unique and that's why I'm single. Wow. So, th- <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> You're a handsome little boy. That's not why. Oh. Why are you looking at me, Joe? <laughs> well, because I was thinking about making a joke, and I wasn't deciding whether or not I wanted to do it. So I was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And I just kind of zoned out looking at you, so... I, I I do that sometimes actually. I'll just like zone out looking at someone. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> then you gotta wink at them. You, <laughs> is that what you do? No, I thought about doing it. To like people that like are just staring at me. Just, oh, just look back, okay. Like, just wink at I them thought you away. meant people. I thought you meant you're looking at someone, and then if when you notice that they look at you, you. No, sometimes I was probably like, hey. And then you wave like this. <laughs> 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 Hi. I can't see how we're waving. So it's <laughs> Yeah, and then you just growl at him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Taco Bell. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I would really love to know. I, I, I'll, I'll state this for the, the audience. I got 
uh, well, we all actually got lunch with my dad uh, earlier in the semester. <laughs> and my dad, we were talking about Taco Bell, and my dad was like, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, like a cat hissing noise. <laughs> not that. No, no, no. like, it was like, yeah. he was like, you know, talk about. <laughs> yeah. And then like did a claw with his hands. And, and we, we were, were all like, what are you talking about? And he's like, it's cat food. You know, it's, it's bad food. It's an ob- it's a common expression. And I was like, no, I promise you it isn't. So if any of you have ever heard or seen anyone do that, please let me In know. In response to Taco Bell, just start hissing. Yeah. We need to do that now. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Just with anything. You want some cookout, some Chick-fil-A? It's so like, hey, I got to, yeah. You know. <laughs> We're just like, hey, I got a, I got a bad ground test. <laughs> just, have, just insert, <laughs> insert it into everything. Make day it com- common. You know, we should all wear, get matching kitty ears. No, we should not. <laughs> Yo, I'm really excited to announce my departure from the uh, <laughs> Marquez and I are starting a show, uh, Chalky Milk, 8, 8, 8 p.m. on Mondays. Woo! Uh, Wait a second. <laughs> chalky Milk. We drink Chalky Milk and lock Thomas Bianca and Joel out of the office. <laughs> I have a key. I have no. a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, you know what I noticed? And I didn't think it was a thing. And, and I need to be careful here. I don't understand it. That does not necessarily mean it's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you know, like, dudes are out here holding hands with other dudes. No. Um, <laughs> no, the, the, the cat ears thing. I don't understand it. That does not necessarily mean it. That doesn't mean it's wrong. Yes. I, does any? Do you? Either of you understand it? Like, because it's a very common in high schools now. For, just from my experience, just hanging. Around well, high schools. school is the answer to that question. It's just it's high school. But I've seen them here too. Yeah. And it's, again, that's why I'm saying that if you wear it, I have. I'd love to know why. It's probably just like another form of fashion. It's like, just why easy. do we wear? Yeah. It's it's, you know, it's like a internet aesthetic. It's just something that people do. I don't think it's. Uh, there's actually a girl. Okay, wait, wait, wait. let's let's I'm be not, really careful. With I'm this not going to say her name and address. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Her L number is. I don't know her name. You just she, see her. Yeah, I just see her. She this wears person. Hatters in class. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I want you to. I, I have a homework for you then. I, I listen. I do not. I want you to. to I want you to ask her. I'm not going to walk up to her and be like, "Hey, why?" <laughs> well, there are easier. There are better ways to ask. Hey. Yeah, pointing and pointing Who's, is. Why the, are you a cat girl? <laughs> <laughs> pointing. Is, <laughs> hey, do you also have Also, calls? it's interesting. It's interesting that Marquez, um, when he's theor- theoretically talking to someone, he's pointing upwards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> down here, down here, down here. So, <laughs> well, they're on her head. So I have the point kind of, well, no, she, I don't know how tall she is. But it's on her That's head. Just, it's just funny uh, that yeah. you immediately <laughs> went <laughs> up, like, uh, up high. Well, I'm sorry. I'm used to certain people being taller than me. Point in case. Thomas and Joe, you're taller than me, and also Joel. So were you imagining me in cat ears when you were pointing? Because that's horrific. You said two minutes ago, hey, let's all get cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if, if we all do it, that's fine. But if I do it by myself, that's well, just a Well, you need a, a little... unicorn horn. And then we need... And a uh, tail. <laughs> nope. You need to leave. <laughs> and then we need something else that's not that. Because, like, we obviously have the mask, but the okay. masks are too um, much. Antlers. I want antlers. Oh, I want antlers. Okay, you can <laughs> do antlers. Okay, so, so we got a unicorn horn. So we're doing horns then. Okay, so you're doing antlers, horn, and then... I'll do like or, a rhino horn. Like a, like a big curved one. Just on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> you, can do, you can get like uh, the, little, the little devil... Little devil things. Oh, because you're a little rascal. Yeah, uh, little rascal. I don't like that. <laughs> you little, the little devil. <laughs> Start speaking Latin for me. Sweet Latin, come on, do it. <laughs> Speak Latin, you cute little bug. <laughs> come on, where's your bitch for it? Come on. <laughs> come on, send me to hell, do it. Come on. <laughs> do it. Come on. You're blocking the gates of Tartarus, do it. Come on. <laughs> I there's like a line there's like a waiting line at Tartarus you, you could like order ahead on the to go app like, <laughs> yo pick man, up my even, soul I'll be here man even even the underworld has succumbed to capitalism <laughs> <laughs> dang it we hey, can't have anything I'm your Lyft driver you're going to uh, Tartarus yeah alright it'll be like four thousand yeah. dollars just, just give me a bit <laughs> 
or being a <laughs> do you black have, Nissan. But do you have Lyft? Do you have Uber Black? Because like that could speed up the process a little bit. Come on, I won't drive any what, faster. But like that's just what hell is. It's just waiting in line. <laughs> 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 You're always sitting there, like man, what, the line has moved maybe one person since it's, I've gotten here. <laughs> it's it's a Chick Fil A line, and it takes all the way until Sunday. <laughs> then you there. just get there, and it's like that scene from SpongeBob, the like when he goes to the deep. Thing. Yeah, the and he goes uh, to like yeah. the DMV thing. He's trying to look for a bus. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom. He goes to Rock Bottom. It's just that the, I hated that episode as a kid because it it really it freaked me out. Not because it was like scary, but because it's like every time he'd like miss the bus, I'd yeah. get really annoyed. <laughs> I I have received a message from the Yanka. She okay. was listening. All right. Well, that's great. You're a little it's late. It's going to end in like two seconds. It's going to end in about two minutes, Max. So um, awesome. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Would Talking you about like SpongeBob, I know you like Would that. Would you like lemonade? Because I have lemonade and I don't want it. <laughs> Wait, am I like lemonade? I don't want it. I, I don't. Let's see what the um, – so if you guys have the Radio FX app, you're welcome to tune in that way. Well, that's probably how you're tuning in. But if you click on the little go button, there's actually a um, thing to do comments. And, and everything I'm about to say is completely invalid because nobody's doing comments. But typically I try to look at it at least once before we go because some people do like to comment. So feel free to comment that way. If you have my number, that's probably the better way to get in contact with me. If you want to have some like live comments or like have, have some input, be sure to text me. I'm not going to say my number out loud. but <laughs> Please take the lemonade. I don't want it. Please, somebody. Be sure to tune in for next episode where we pawn off all of Thomas's stuff on air. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially his, uh, his little unicorn teddy bear. I forget his well, name. Well, it's not a teddy bear. It's if a, you touch it's a Brent, <laughs> Brent, Brent, I'll t- <laughs> touch you. <laughs> Whatever you do to Brent, I'll do to you. Oh, so, so <laughs> you're going to pawn him? <laughs> Wait a minute. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace.